Hi, uh, I'm Praveen Singh and welcome to iCoding Club. Now this is another tutorial in the uh, in the Dojo series uh, and today we will try to learn that how to create a simple template based widget using Dojo AMD concept. Now Dojo has been a very powerful UI framework which is here for a long time but it's still a bit less popular than few of its competitor which are strangely less powerful than Dojo. Now I'm creating this set of articles to explain that, you know, how much powerful Dozo it is and still it is how much simple to use. So let's get started. So this is the place where I'm putting this whole article together. I just give you a walk through the kind of heads up first that what we have in this article. So this is the place where I'm going to put this video, which I'm creating right now. This is the, the the folder structure, the file structure, what we will be creating and when uh, to run this application. Another point to note that everything uh, to uh, to run properly in Dojo, everything should run inside a web server. Now I'm since I'm running everything on the uh, on Mac, then I can use this particular command to run uh, uh, run a particular folder as a server. If you're in any other environment like Windows, Python will work there also. Just try to figure out what is the way. Then there is a set of uh, uh, code uh, I put together. So like this is the place where I will hook everything together. One simple template. And this is the widget I will try to build throughout this article. And then we will try to upgrade this widget, uh, you know, by providing the events on the uh, on the template and I will explain what is the best way to put uh, event on the on the template so let's move further if you're not sure how to do this initial setup uh, and you have not uh, look on my previous video there's another good tutorial what I built a uh, few days back is this uh, so here you here I explain all the basic steps of what you have to do uh, to to build to have the setup uh, on your local system. Do check it check this out if you get a time. So let's move further on this article. What I will do in this uh, tutorial is I just keep following uh, my blog and try to build on my local system and I will check that can I build it. Uh, if I just follow this particular blog, the first is to build the index.html. So we'll come back to our sublime text. And inside the app widget, I will create a HTML file with say index.html. I will copy the whole content. And dump it there. A little bit of formatting. Now to understand this, it is pretty clear that I'm gonna need this simplest widget module, which I'm gonna create in few uh, few minutes. And once the simplest simple widget module is ready, just call this uh, callback function and dump this widget inside widget container, which is this particular div so what will happen this module will load it on the runtime it will build the complete widget and just sit quietly on the uh, widget container the next step is to create the template so what I will do I will create a folder called templates then counter view dot html5 we'll copy the content in the template so the hookup place is ready the the template is ready the the main thing which will glue everything together is the is the widget so next step is to create the widget we call it 
in the simple widget.js. I will copy the whole contain and dump it. So right now we are ready to create a simple uh, template on the UI. If I just run right now to the localized 88 where we are running our server, you can see that there are two buttons actually which says the increment decrement and the value of uh, the counter is initialized to zero. The initial value is coming from here, which is we hard coded. Now, what is happening here is we are utilizing the widget base. Now, widget base is the base uh, class what you have to extend if you want to create a widget on the dojo. It's provide a set of lifecycle methods. So these are the two lifecycle method what we are going to utilize. It has a set of other uh, lifecycle method also like post mix in and startup and other things. So all serve the different purpose. What we do right now is I'm just dumping the some console log statement which says you know that I'm in the constructor and all those kind of thing. Just see that are we getting those uh, log statement or not. So we are getting in construct and post create, which is very uh, similar to what what we just checked. But if you can see that though it's a counter widget, nothing is working right now, which is pretty easy to understand because there is no event on the button uh, which say increment and increment. Now here this widget uh, come into picture that there's another mix in. Uh, which we when we clip together with widget base is provide us the power of accessing the template uh, template elements and putting the event on it so if I just keep following my blog this is a thing this is a like checkpoint so what you can check right away that should the model should have loaded by this time you should, must be getting the two buttons on the ui and nothing will happen if you click on the button the next step is we will put the event on the uh, on the template now the how we do in the dojo is utilizing the template mix in what uh, what we get in our template are these two magical attributes one says data dojo attach point and another say data dojo event what it says like it's almost like kind of id for the template uh, for id for the widget in dojo it's uniquely you can actually uniquely access uh, this particular uh, element in the widget the another way is the declarative way to provide the events. What it says that when you click on it, call this particular method. Now you must have understand by this time that we have to create these two uh, event handlers. So let's move further and try to do those things. So I just copy the whole thing again. And update the simplest widget now you can see that if I just go back to the counter view I kind of remove the initial initialize and value that was zero uh, in the previous code what I'm doing in the post create I'm initializing the uh, initializing the uh, uh, the counter value from zero what I have done is I initialize the counter variables from zero and in inner HTML I can I am dumping it. 
Now another point to understand that nowhere I have done something like document dot get element by ID or query hash something if you are familiar with jQuery. The magical thing is whatever you say as a data dojo attach point, you kind of get the the variable uh, automatically in the widget. So if you see here, we have three data dojo attach point output increment and decrement. Nowhere we're saying that create these three properties on the widget. We just get it automatically. So what we are doing here is we are getting the first one and dumping the counter value. When you click on increment, uh, when you click on increment counter button, what actually happened is in the outer in in HTML, we just get the value and dump it there. Simple as that. If I just run it right uh, right now. And try to increment the value you can see that we can increment and increment it's as simple as that so this was the declarative way to uh, to put the event on the on the template there's a programmatical way also it's pretty simple uh, you just say that this dot increment on click call this particular function and it will work as is a declarative way but declarative way preferred uh, on mostly on the dojo widgets so this is all i wanted to explain in this video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button uh, below this video thank you